What's up everyone, my name is Droopy Swaggers. Welcome back to another video on the channel. For today's video, I wanted to go over something that's new for FIFA 21, something that maybe a lot of people don't know about just yet. I actually just found out about it today. Uh, it's called the Directed Pass and Go. And I actually found it on Twitter. Let me, uh, let me show you what it is. Um, I was just scrolling through Twitter and I saw a tweet here by Dr. Poplove who, uh, who works on FIFA um, at EA. And he says here, my biggest tip for FIFA right now is to start experimenting with the directed pass and go. This is something that's new in 21 that can help you create movement and space in ways that haven't been possible before. Here's how to do it and some pointers on, how, on when you might want to try it. How? Pass the ball, then quickly flick your right stick in any direction. The player that passed the ball will then run in that direction. A potential scenario. You're in the opponent's half and want to create chaos at the edge of the box. You pass to a striker on the edge and keep your CM or cam running into the box at any angle you want. Who's the opponent going to mark? One of your strikers, the runner, a wide player? So basically what he's saying here is that you can use this new mechanic to just wreak havoc on your opposition player because at the end of the day who are they going to defend right they don't know if you're going to make a move with the player that's on the ball now they've got another player that's running in some crazy direction that you've controlled uh so i thought it would be really really cool to uh record a video on that and jump into a game and basically see how that works for us uh i'm still on the trial so Hopefully this video doesn't take up too much time since, uh, you know, hours are precious on there. But let me bring it over and uh, we'll jump into a quick game and we'll, we'll see how that works out. Um, jump over here. Very cool. So I will, uh, I'll be right back and we'll show you my squad that we're running and then we'll, uh, we'll jump into a quick Rivals game. All right, so we're in. This is the team that I've been using. Uh, we got through all of our division rivals placement games. We won four, lost the very last one. So extremely disappointed about that. But uh, we did get put into division three. So we're gonna jump into a game with this team and we're gonna try out that directed pass and go and just see how it plays in game. Let's jump in. All right, here we go. Whoa, that's a team. He's got Dan James too. He's got a couple of United players as well, a lone Trent Alexander-Arnold, but that team of the week, Jamie Vardy, with a hunter on him, this is going to be very interesting. <laughs> Let's get into the game and see how everything pans out. And good evening on what is a perfect All right, and we're kicked off. Let's go. Oh, solid first pass from Donny Van de Beek. Ooh, big challenge from Shaw there. That was uh, that was going to be trouble for sure. Nice challenge, I like it. All right, here we go. We're off to the races, boys. So we just want to try it out. So you can see there, it's got the arrows. Probably shouldn't have done it with Scott McTominay, but hey, you do what you can, right? And Greenwood's going. We couldn't connect with the pass, but you can see already just how much you can vary your attacks now, right? You can literally play play the pass and make a run in any direction whatsoever. And I've already got two runners on there, see? That's just gonna cause absolute mayhem for the opposition. All right, here we go. Greenwood takes a shot. Big block there for my opposition. Big. Okay, so we can see there Van de Beek's on the run. And I like it because they keep running in that direction. Go on, Greenwood. Oh, unlucky. Greenwood. Van de Beek. There he goes, Van de Beek shoots, and it's just wide. Unlucky, unlucky. That was good play, but you've got to be quick with these flicks. Because if you uh, if you flick it a little bit too late, the player receiving the ball is going to do a first-time flick. And uh, if you're not anticipating that, you could be in a lot of trouble. Uh-oh, and his Vardy's through here. We know he's got pace to burn. The question is, does he have the weak foot? And the answer is probably not. 
All right, so that's half time. I mean, so far we're working, uh, we're working some op opportunities, and uh, we've had a lot of the possession. We're just not quite connecting with uh, with those final shots, not getting them on target. So that's something that we'll uh, we'll try and work on in the second half for sure. Wait. Shaw steps up with a big challenge there, big challenge. All right, so we're gonna play it here. And as you can see, we've got that run. And he's through, and he's through Greenwood. Oh, he's just hit it wide, but you can see there, he made that run, exactly the run that I was looking for him to make, and we were able to find the pass. It's just a little unfortunate there that we weren't able to connect on that final shot. Again, that goes into uh, what we were saying at halftime, right? We just need to be able to connect on those uh, those final shots, make sure that they're on frame. Okay, we'll drop it off to Greenwood. I saw the run being made. I just couldn't quite get there. Dan James cuts it inside. Finishes. Let's go! Dan James, the Welshman. Big goal. Big goal. You love to see it. That's good. Here we go. See where he's making that run now? Very, 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 very happy that it follows the, the trajectory that you actually set. Perfect tackle. It, it's just a little bit extra control that you have over no, over the, the offense, which is you know you like you like to see it. Well, it definitely makes me feel good positive. that they're uh, you know they're giving us a little bit more ways to to create a bit of a skill gap, right? So this is definitely something that you want to try and implement. It feels like it's something that once you're, you know, once you're well versed in it and you're really, really good with it, it can be a, a bit of a game changer to the team. So, there he goes, Van der Beek. Oh, couldn't quite connect on that pass. Oh, he's just gone right past Fred, but Fred says, "No, thank you, sir. I will take that from you." Another big run there from Van der Beek. Here we go. Ooh, almost a goal there. That was perfect play, though. That's exactly what you want to use this for, right? You create those spaces. Lingard went perfectly for me there. All right, so we're going to make a run here of Van der Beek. That's unlucky. It's unlucky, but you can see that there's space here for him. There we go. There we go. Right at the death, we get one. That directed pass and go came off perfect for us there. And Donny van de Beek finishes that fantastically. So you can see just how important it's going to be this year. It's definitely something that I'm going to look to implement um, into my game. It's obviously made a huge difference, and this is just very early doors. Like, we're not even working with any amazing players. Um, it's just kind of a bog-standard Manchester United team that we were working here. So, definitely something that you guys might want to try. Uh, give it a go yourselves. Let me know in the comments if, uh, if you've been able to use it yourself and had any great success with it. But, uh, yeah, that was a great game. I, uh, I really enjoyed it. Thank you so much to Dr. Poplove for giving us that information on Twitter. If you're not following, following him already, then I would definitely suggest you do. Uh, if you're not already subscribed to the channel, subscribe. Follow me on Twitch because we stream there every single day. Um, and yeah, I will catch you guys for the next one. Love you.